Huh. Shove it in like that. Hey, what's up, my cruisers? Replacing your axles or burr fields, some may say, is like a rite of passage for an 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser owner. But if you don't have the knowledge or the time to do one, then I suggest you check your fill hole, your knuckle inspection hole, in your 80 series Toyota Land Cruiser, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Obviously, the best way to do it is do a rebuild on your knuckles and change the seals out. But if you don't have the time or knowledge, then you can try this alternative. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody, but I've been doing this for three years now. So this is how I change and uh, refill my Burfield seals. We grease. I had a little trouble on this side, so I sprayed some PB Blaster on it and uh, let it sit for a few hours. Bruh. Several song filled hours later. So after a generous amount of PB Blaster, I finally got the to budge. And I use this channel lock wrench, which I got on Amazon. I'll link that in the description as well if you want to get one yourself. And it helped tremendously to loosen that stuck plug. I think we got it finally. Oh yeah, it's coming off now. Nice and easy. Look, just using a wrench. Where did I go? This way. Boom, it came off. Just like that. I'm more worried about this side anyway, because this is the one with the leaking uh leaking grease down here. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. See down here. Huh. Here. Molly grease. Um, this one, this is the Lucas extra heavy duty, but you're gonna look and make sure it's NGLI rated. So that's the one you can use for the uh, bearings. Yeah, it's nice and green. See that? Love. Get some grease. Put it in there. Just like that. If you have a grease gun, it'd probably be easier or a Zerk fitter or something. But I don't have that, so I'm just gonna hand it, put it in with my damn finger. And we're gonna take the straw. If we got some in there, shove it in like that. That's all you're gonna do. Um, you're gonna wanna do this at least once a year if you have a leak like mine. If your leak's like as bad as mine is, I wanna do this at least once a year. Just make sure it's topped off in there. You don't wanna overfill it either because it's gonna come out and expand. So just put, I'd say like a couple handfuls in, maybe like a handful or and a half. Just go like that. Put some on the top. And I think that would be enough for now. Say like that. Shove it in with my finger. As long as something's in there. You don't want it to go dry. So as long as something's in there, there's still grease in there, I can still see it. So as long as something's in there, you'll be okay. So just, if you run out of, if you have a leak and you don't see anything dripping, that's when you're in trouble. That's when you got no more grease in there. So you're gonna wanna just make sure you get some new grease in there. It's almost like refilling it, you know. If you don't replace it, just refill it. So that'll keep it going. I'm gonna do this, this is like probably the third year I've been doing this now. And it's still been running. Occasionally there'll be a click, like on high turn. Like if I turn the steering wheel all the way, there'll be like one click. So after I finish the passenger side, I moved on to the driver's side, so you gotta turn the wheel the other way.
So as you can see, it's a lot simpler to do it this way than doing a whole rebuild on the uh, burr fields and the axle seals. So if you don't have the time or the know-how, I suggest doing it this way. Um, if you got any questions, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, the Easy Cruiser out.